everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a nice little six-game NBA slate for you. Before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button? Unfortunately, yesterday we had a couple guys get hurt, so that hurt our lineups, but overall, we still had a pretty good day as some of our plays did really solid. Hopefully today we can have a huge day as it's a nice slate for it. Uh, though we do have some questionable tags, and we have one team that seems like half the roster is questionable, so let's get into that here. For the Rockets, Eason and Van Vliet are out. For the Pacers, Halliburton and Smith are questionable. For the Heat, Robinson is questionable. For the Mavs, Cleaver, Exum are both, or sorry, Cleaver is questionable, and then Exum is doubtful and Lively is out. For the Nets, Cam Johnson, Walker are both questionable, and then Sharp and DFS are out. And for the Grizzlies, uh... Vince Williams, Aldama, Conchar, Rose are all questionable. Jackson Jr. is doubtful. And the Morant, Bain, Smart, Tillman, Z. Williams, Clark, and Oladipo are out. For the Knicks, OG, Onobi, uh, Robinson, Randall, and Grimes are all out. Uh, for the Bulls, Caruso is questionable. Levine and Patrick Williams are out. For the Thunder, Jalen Williams uh, and Kaysen Wallace and Jalen Williams are out. Are questionable, excuse me, and Joe is out. So we have uh, a lot of questionable tags today. Hopefully we get some assurances on some of these guys before the lock, slate locks. Uh, but I do have a few plays for you today. Uh, it's really not a great fantasy slate for good value, but there are some good plays on this one. So we'll start with Amin Thompson for Houston. He should step back into the starting role today. Uh, he's priced really good for this matchup and for the situation, considering the fact he'll probably play around 25, 30 minutes at least. Uh, and in the games that he's done that, he's been pretty solid when it comes to his fantasy output. Uh, at least lately he has. Uh, but he doesn't always get the minutes when they're full strength. But right now, uh, with uh, Van Fleet out, he's going to have a lot of opportunity here. And he is a core player as a result. I also like Dante DiVincenzo today for the Knicks. He's played very well since Randall's gone down. And I look for that to continue here in a good matchup here for against a team that is going to miss half their roster in Memphis. He should have a lot of opportunity to play 35 to 40 minutes, which he's done the last four games. And he's been really solid in that stretch. He does need 37 fantasy points to pay off though today, so to keep that in mind. But he's definitely capable of that. Uh, Josh Hart is also in, in the looking today here with uh, the Knicks as he's been a little bit more inconsistent since Randall went down. But he's had some big games as well. He's also a little bit cheaper than Din Vincenzo, so he's definitely in play here. Uh, but he definitely carries a little bit more risk there, and he's more of a GPP play. I really like Shea Alexander today. His price continues to slightly poke up, but that's because he's playing very well, and he's had a big game after big game. He uh, had a huge 14-assist uh, game the last game out. Uh, he doesn't even need to get the double-double to pay off, though, because he's been getting uh, close to, you know, five to six rebounds and... Uh, six to seven assists most games, including some steals and stuff. So uh, he's just playing very well right now, and he's just a great option against a team that struggled uh, throughout the year in Utah. Uh, then I like Jalen Brunson some today, as he's got a nice matchup here, and he's really upped his game since uh, since uh, the injuries to other players on the team. And with OG out and Robinson out and Randall out, uh, he's going to have a lot of usage here. He's very, very, very close to be a core play for me. His price has just come up so much that he's hard to make a core play at this point. Uh, looking at Isaiah Hartenstein, he's also played well since everybody's been hurt. And he should be back around 30 minutes on this game. And the last three games, he's been over uh, 30 minutes, and he's paid off pretty well here. He needs 32 fantasy points to pay off here, and I think he's a viable option to do that. And he does have that double-double potential as well. Uh, then we're going to look at Mike Conley for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, he does face a tougher matchup in a slowdown game here, uh, but he's been pretty consistent lately. He's not going to wow you with a 35 fantasy point game, but he should be able to get where we want. And as long as he doesn't shoot the ball completely awful, he should be okay today. Uh, though he does carry a little bit of risk because he has had some of those off games. And then last but not least, we'll look at Chet Holmgren for Oklahoma City. Now, he's going to have some... Uh, added boost here as he's been playing very well lately. Uh, he does have a low floor for the price, but he has a high ceiling and he's been meeting it a couple times recently. Uh, the matchup here is good and with the injuries uh, to this team, he's going to have some opportunity, especially if guys get ruled out. Uh, obviously, if uh, all the Jalen Williamses uh, are in today, then that could hurt him a little bit. But overall, I felt like the slate looked better uh, when I first started looking at it than it turned out to be. I feel like a lot of guys are a little bit overpriced, but there's some good uh, mid-range options throughout the slate, so hopefully we can find some things open up as we get through it. 
Uh, and uh, thank you guys for liking, coming, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.